welcome back to my channel my name is Sally and if you're new here this channel is all about home DIY and lifestyle so if this is your first time coming to see me hello I hope you guys are good I am back it's good to be back I feel really good you know I'm, I'm very excited about everything and thank you so much for joining me if you're watching so in today's video we're making a DIY giant wall art so it's a large wall art that i have made for my couch and lounge area as you guys know my lounge area have like it has black couches and white um, pillows and i wanted to make a nice wall art because my wall was just so blank but there was nothing on there it was very blank and it was very boring and so i wanted to make just like a really cute little wall art thingy so that just so you know when you walk in because my place is quite small so you will walk in immediately and you immediately see the lounge so when you used to walk in it just that we just wall boring buttocks so i wanted to make sure that you guys see something nice when not you guys but you know <laughs> so for this wall art i had two choices i could either make a um, line drawing wall art or an abstract wall art for my my particular taste i wanted either those two because i wanted everything to be in black and white and i could have gone for the line art but i also made a poll on instagram if you're not following me on instagram please do that thing i'll put it somewhere here I, I made a poll on instagram and i asked would you guys like me to do what you think or a line art would work better or an abstract piece of art would work better and people are like ah abstract expert i was like ah surprising stuff you know so i chose to go with the abstract wall art so for this it's super simple i'm gonna just name some materials you will need it's it's very easy and it's very cost effective as well so this wall art i built it for under 400 rand so if you guys know about wall art and if you check the prices of wall art and like places like mr price home a wall art this size would be well over 500 rand like well over 500 rand because it's just so big but if you make them yourself like this, it's much cheaper. You will need two giant canvases. You can choose the size according to what you feel like would fit in your apartment. For my example, I chose these, I forgot the dimensions, but I chose these big, nice, large canvases. I got mine at China Mall. So I think if you have a look at any art store or China Mall, you might find these gigantic wall art pieces in your city as well. You will also need a paintbrush, some paint, black acrylic paint, and you will also need double-sided tape or no more nails glue to hang it up to the wall. Now with double-sided tape, we have to be very careful because I bought very low quality double-sided tape from China Mall and don't be like me, buy high quality double-sided tape because it's super important to have your things stick on the wall because literally I put them up for like three hours they were already crumbling you know shaky so buy some really good quality that was added tape all right so now you have all your materials and you're ready to just get started so the first thing that I did I just basically laid down the canvas took off all the packaging and I wanted um, as you saw in my inspiration I wanted it to be half black half white which is pretty easy because half of the painting is already white Anyway, I just started painting. And I made sure that my paintbrush is not too saturated with the paint. So it had to be like a bit dry, like some dry brushing that you're doing now. To I wanted the strokes of the paint to show because I felt like it gave it some character. I liked that look. If you don't like that look, that's okay. You can make it like matte black and not have any paint strokes whatsoever. But I had mine to have like some paint strokes and I just painted all the way until halfway of the canvas. You will know that you are at halfway of the canvas when you are at like this little bridge thing in the middle of the canvas. It's like a wooden bridge thing. And that's when I knew that I'm at the middle of my canvas now. So. At the middle of my canvas, I just did like little light brush strokes and those little brush strokes created like some sort of like, not gradient, but it made the effect me. That effect, I liked it and I was like, oh, I'm keeping this and I want it to look like that at every half of the painting. It turns out that this little back area here, let me zoom out, this area, this 
board is causing the canvas to have like this sort of like this sort of like horizon line yeah I'm not sure if I hate it but I'm not sure if I like it either so I'm just gonna cover it because <laughs> I like this the way this looks so I'm just gonna cover it So then when you're done painting, you're gonna let it dry. I let mine dry for about uh, a day or so. For the wall sticking portion, I'm gonna warn you, I'm not a professional, like, anything. <laughs> I know there's better ways to do it. I know that you can, like, use a measuring tape and measure your wall and do, like, a leveler with the laser and make sure that everything is even and, you know, just one, two, one, two, one, two. I know you can do that. However, I have none of those tools, so I didn't do that. I just eyeballed it and luckily I had the help of my lovely boyfriend who helped me put them up on the wall. In terms of levelness, it is level. Wait, a little. Yeah. If I say left in left. Okay, let's go. Let's that looks level to me. It does. Does it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm forcing it. <laughs> punching it into place. I'm now sure. it's your chance to speak. <laughs> and then we realized as we were putting them up on the wall that our wall is slightly like turned inward. Little bit, little bit, little bit, just a little bit, something's wrong. So when you put it on the wall thing, it kind of went wee. And we, <laughs> we thought it wasn't straight, but it is straight. And I hung it on the wall inverted. So one side is black up top and the other side is black down at the bottom. Okay, that's perfect. Is put it, it, put it. Put it down. Ah, huh? put it down. Put it down. Huh? What? What? <laughs> yeah, and the other, don't press it in. Come come to me. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, now you can go press it. <laughs> whatever you want just get canvas from China Mall and just go crazy go just do whatever you want and just be creative that's literally what this channel is all about just doing whatever you want for your own personal space and for your own home all right guys so i'll see you on the next one i'll be releasing another adulting diary soon so keep an eye out for that and i am fully back now um i was away because of work as you guys know i'm an entrepreneur and yeah, no, work was literally, work was killing me, but I really want to be back on YouTube because it's something that's like nice for me and it's my escape. So I want to be here with you guys, enjoying my space and decorating my home with me. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, thank you for watching.